The defense spent the afternoon trying to poke holes in the state's case against two former Albuquerque police officers with a game of true or false. News 13's Haley Rush is live at District Court. Haley. Dean, this afternoon, the defense read the prosecution's opening statements line by line, asking the lead detective in the shooting if what was said really happened. Keith Sandy, he was not dispatched to the scene where the shooting took place, but overheard something on the radio and on his own assembled a team of his rope members and went out to the scene. Would you agree that that's truthful? Uh, no, he was uh, contacted by radio control. In opening statements, prosecutors told the jury Keith Sandy wanted to prove a point in the department, so he dispatched himself, then escalated the situation when he arrived. The detective also told the jury today Sandy never told any officers to leave the scene so he could take over, adding that Sandy was not in charge of the scene that day. Both former APD officers Keith Sandy and Dominique Perez are facing second-degree murder and voluntary manslaughter charges for shooting and killing James Boyd as he held two pocket knives. The special prosecutor fired back today saying she would address the defense calling her, quote, a liar, insisting Sandy did get more involved than he should have. Okay, so he was being called to bring the taser shotgun. Yes. And that's the only reason. That was the reason he was called, correct? Prosecutors have said the shooting was unnecessary and James Boyd was turning to lay on the ground and surrender when Sandy and Perez opened fire. The defense claims Boyd was turning toward a police canine handler who had gotten too close to him. Now the trial is done for the day. It could last three weeks. Back to you, Dean. All right, Haley, thank you. Tonight at 10, an APD open space officer describes his encounter with James Boyd at the very beginning of that standoff.